In this video, we are looking at the problems on page 10 of the 9.1 slides. Um, we start off with this first one. Because of the continued successful implementation of an urban renewal program, it's expected that each year 3% of the population currently residing in the city will move to the suburbs, and 6% of the population currently residing in the suburbs will move into the city. At present, 65% of the total population of the metropolitan area lives in the city itself, while the remaining 35% lives in the suburbs. Assuming that the total population of the metropolitan area remains constant, what will the distribution of the what will be the distribution of the population one year from now? So we start off with the aid of a tree diagram. Um, we can establish by the um, some of the stuff we learned in chapter seven that the probability of a per, uh, person selected at random will be a city dweller one year from now is given by 0.65 times 0.97 plus 0.35 times 0 0.06, which is 0.6515. And the probability that they are, they reside in the suburbs I'm doing this over here. Sorry about that. There is the math I just did for the city. So um, the probability that they live in the suburbs, suburbs a year from now will be 0 0.65 times 0 0.03 plus 0 0.35 times 0 0.94. So that's 0.3485. Here is a um, here's that as a tree diagram. So here is things as they are now. And in one year, 3% of the people in the city move to the suburbs, but 97% stay in the city. 6% of the people in the suburbs move to the city, but 97%, 94% uh, stay in the suburbs. So the population of the area one year from now may be expected to be distributed 65.15% in the city and 34.85% in the suburbs. Now we can set this up as a transition matrix. And that will just look like this. T equals 0 0.97, 0 0.03, this is the city. These are the people who stay in the city. These are the people who leave the city. Here are the suburbs. We've got 0 0.06 leaving the suburbs and 0 0.94 remaining in the suburbs. There's our transition matrix. All right, moving on to the next problem. Continuing from the previous example, what is the population distribution of the city after two years or after three years? Well, since we have that matrix I just showed you, we can use that All we have to do is multiply our new values by the matrix. So X2, the population in Year in uh, year two is going to be 
t times x1, so that's equal to that 0 0.97 times uh, 0 0.03, 0 uh, 0.06, 0 0.94 times the vector matrix of the population after year one, which was x1. So that's 0 0.6515 and 0 0.4, uh, sorry, 3485. And when we multiply that out, we get approximately 0.6529 and 0.3471. Notice that the population in the city is slowly increasing while the population in the suburbs is slowly decreasing. Then in year three, we just do this again. We multiply our transition matrix by X2. So that's going to be R97 times uh, 0 0.03, 0 0.06, 0 0.94 times this matrix here, 0 0.6529, 0 0.3471, which will give us approximately 0.6541. and 0.3459. We're not taking it beyond four decimal places. We could, but we're not doing it. Uh, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please get in touch.